I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome back. Tony brought home some grass alfalfa bales that we bailed up for the horses. So I'm going to get them in the open shed. I'm going to put them on some pallets so they don't rot out as fast. And yeah, so get that done and then probably go pick bales out of the field. My favorite thing to do. You remember that last year? I had a lot of bales to pick. This year, unfortunately, I don't have too many bales. I can run around with a gooseneck this year and pretty much haul them all which is sad, but I guess that's why Mother Nature goes. Cows are 48 inches, but four foot wide. Turn it off. Well, good morning. I ran over here to the bin site because we had an issue with the uh, free shuttles we're giving away. We had a storm come through last night and they decided to take them and blow them across the highway. There was one way in the middle of the field I had to go get. But since I'm here, might as well pick some bales. Done. Now I'm going to go up to the other field and grab them and bring them back down to the bin site. This is like only like 14 bales. These bales are no fun. They're dry and they don't, they're not holding together so they kind of fall apart when you pick them up. So you got to pick them up nice and gentle. That's the last load for the west half of the farm. Time to put bin lids back on. Well, it's still cool out, right? Yeah. It might be a little bit warmer out there right now, but it'll be a little cooler. The forecast is something like the next seven days, 
over 100 degree highs. Mm. Hope the air conditioner in the combine keeps working. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know how uniform their hole drilling is on these. I sure hope they're all the same because if we have to uh, like fit each one to see where it goes, that would not be fun. No. The only one I know that needs to go on this one is that one that doesn't have that bolt. The take no take up bolt? Yeah. And then the one with all the bird poop, was that one that was up there or yeah, the one that was on the ground? Oh, be the second the, one? Yeah. Well, there were two of them go at least. <laughs> and the other two... <laughs> There'll be a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Yeah. Going up. Has the nut on it. Is it rusty? No, it's shiny. It came off right where this the cable's hanging now. too far out because it hit that bolt right in the center of that bolts the sheet down. One done, three more to go, except for I lost a bolt. It's down there somewhere. We don't know where it's at. I'm going down. All four are back on. Now all I gotta do is go around the back side and put the wires back in the little guides so that we can pull them open. Now for the moment of truth. See if they still work. Oh yeah, like a million bucks. Sweet. Bin lid welder guys, build them this way now, then they won't break. If it fits, it ships, right? Kind of fits. Well, I guess we got more air and conditioning in the cab now. Oops, didn't really have a way of putting my flower power blanket on that one. Oh well. Okay, so we'll put uh, actual windshield glass in it this time.
got all of our hay we're going to need for the butcher cows this winter. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll have some we can sell out yet. And uh, I need to get new glass put back in here because it is a little warm with that engine fan blowing right on me. Mines are greased, both headers are greased, and the grain cart's greased. I think we're about there. Well, it looks like number two header is ready to go. That wants to go back on the trailer so we can head over to the field. Uh, number two machine, though has an oil leak. On the back spreaders here, one of these motors is leaking. Of course it's a $1,200 motor with the sensor in it for the speed. That's a $600 motor. So we're gonna find a rebuild kit to change that seal. I think. Maybe we'll get the dad's combine over and go start cutting and see how wet it is. And then we know if we uh, need to run right away and grab a part or not. But we're gonna get this header uh, on dad's combine and then uh, get the fingers put on the reel on this one, the five finger tines. I got the scale all set up on the grain cart. Got the iPad in here. It's reading out everything's there. Tony's got to create a new season for this year, but that's ready to go. I can see everything. I got it up on the 7 Pro 700. I can see the weight and all that too. And now I'm gonna go top the fuel off in this and put some def in it too. And we should be ready to roll with the grain cart. Well, been messing around with the white truck's air conditioner for a while. Expansion valve seems to be bad on this truck. The line going to the AC in the sleeper unit works awesome. Coming back real cold. So that expansion valve seems to be working fine. But got one ordered for here. Won't be here till Tuesday. It is Friday. So, guess we'll wait on this. We probably don't even need a truck for harvest this year. Well, we don't need all the trucks anyways. So, this one doesn't get used. I'm fine with that. It can be parked. Probably use our short trailers anyways, but uh, one more thing I gotta do yet is get our grain cart software up to date, ready to go for the 21 harvest because we're gonna really need that software a lot this year um, for crop insurance reasons. So I'm gonna go get on the computer, get that all up to date now. All right, going through here and telling it what each field is planted to, and then we're ready to create the new season. There we go, current season, 2021. No load tickets yet, fields, all the bins show empty. I think we're uh, ready to go. That hydraulic motor seal kit will be here tomorrow morning. Well, sometime tomorrow. 
But I'm gonna put this in the shop overnight so it's a little cooler to work on tomorrow. And tear that apart then. All right, auger. Rear view camera. Let's fold that in. That'll probably stick through the shop wall if I left that out. There we go. And green tanks. That's a tight squeeze. It's like a glove that's size it's huge and small, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. I think it's time for a bigger shot. Like OJ's glove? I don't think anyone's gonna catch on to that one. <laughs> you know what that means? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> OJ Simpson? I know the name, that's about it. <laughs> Well, that's about enough for today, I think, and uh, gonna go in, get showered up, because uh, I stink. And uh, yeah, ready to get out of sweaty clothes. So, don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. We'll be harvesting here maybe next video. We'll see. Well, this kind of came out of nowhere. She smells good, though.